Would I want to have it more centralized? Actually, I think I would. So maybe if I actually put it here, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I could move it out? No, we're going to put it right there. Let's go ahead and copy down some more of the key. And same concept, we're going to go ahead and run a key road back behind. And over there, and over here. And we'll go ahead and connect that to the main island. And actually, that spot right there will be great to connect our... Um, whenever we end up doing the public moorings and all that kind of stuff, the uh, tourist season stuff, we could have the bus stop there. So if that's there, Oil Harbor needs to be right on the coast. I'm going to move you to the far side. Or, actually, I'm going to move you right there. And this whole concept is going to go right here. Man, I'm really seeing a lot of frame rate slow down, so I might have to do another restart. I really wish it wasn't giving me that hard of a time, but um, I don't really see any other option. Okay, those are actually going exactly where they need to go. We'll do something else over here later. But the nice thing is, if we get some items in here, we could actually make the uh, fisheries more efficient. Say that three times fast. Efficient fishery, efficient fishery, efficient fishery. Let's go ahead and delete those roads and drop a harbor here. Perfect. So when we get our oil hooked up here, uh, it could run right along there into the oil harbor and then straight back out into the island. So yeah. I am noticing a lot of these slowdowns, so I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Uh, we're going to pause you guys on YouTube, and we'll do a quick restart. And when I come back, we'll keep on building. All right, YouTube, we're back. And yeah, I did a quick restart, and now the game is buttery smooth again. No freezing, no hitching. So um, tell me in the comments, like, have you guys noticed this since the DLC? Is this something new that has happened with the DLC where you end up with hitching or, like, frame rate drops or what's the deal with that i'd love to hear from you guys and see if this is just a unique problem to me or if everybody else is having the same issue maybe blue bite can do something and actually fix it for us but i don't know i don't want to get my hopes up too much i would love to get some bricks here in granola and you know what granola is actually a great name for this island since we're going to be growing a lot of wheat and grain. So, I think that's actually a name I'm going to keep. Let's go ahead and burn some of our workers. If I can get a few bricks out of that one... Uh, what else can we do on this island? could expand my workers a little bit. I wouldn't mind if I came up with a better location for our forestry area. Mm. If this were our main town, and this is the main harbor, we could expand the town out this direction, and maybe have farms somewhere in the middle farms out here. Yeah, I think I'd like to have all of our forestry out here. So let's go ahead and add some foresters. Lumberjack huts. I will go ahead and do this. We'll frame out the harbor a little bit. Yeah, that'll mark the edge. Uh, 
let's do something like... Go ahead and grab there. And I'm just going to go ahead and run a road out this way. Okay. So... Let's say I had a warehouse like... Oh, actually... If I tap into this mine, run a road out here, putting a warehouse right there actually makes a lot of sense. And how far would that reach? Is that... That's actually perfect. So let's go ahead and move... All right, I'm gonna need to move you one tile over. Perfect. Do that. So let's see how many woodcutters we can get in here. Actually, get another one really close there. How far will that travel? Ooh, not very far. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a couple of sawmills set up. That'll reach, that'll reach. And we we'll go ahead and put a couple right there. So that'll give us plenty of wood on this island. And we're actually topped out. And we're starting to get some brick. Let's see if I can get a little bit of paving. Will that reach? Yes! Haha, <laughs> we've actually got just enough brick there to just barely reach the harbor with that second brick factory. Mm, what else can we do here? So, I would love to actually start focusing. Ready for assignment. Uh, did I actually have a trade route set up before that break? No, I did not. Okay. I think I want to go ahead and set a group for this. So, let's create a new group. I need to start getting some of these organized. The new group will be called Cape. Trelawney. Oops, let's capitalize that. Um, potatoes slash wheat. Or is it wheat or grain? I can never remember what they call it. Grain. Crap. Grain. All right. Fixed it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do that same idea a couple of times. That's got an oil spring as well. Oh, we've got... Oh, right, because we've got all four capitals. Crown Falls is one, and there's three other capital islands that the other AIs typically try and grab. So... I think Granola will go ahead and supply to those. Let's go ahead and create another route. Penipa Kenya is kind of its own little thing. There's no need for it to supply anybody else. Unless it wanted to supply Crown Falls, we could send some of their potatoes and grain over. Uh, let's grab... Framlick Born can go ahead and supply Penipa Kenya. So we'll grab potatoes, we'll grab grain, and we'll just unload them there. So we'll have plenty of extra there to be unloaded. And let's grab... Oh, where... Oh, there we go. Crack 
grab the Trinidad. That's your entire life goal. Uh, Temple Park. Let's start with Granola. From here to there to there and back. So we're going to grab all of these. And it's going to be a balancing route. Oh, oops, I did that wrong. Uh, grab grain and unload. Unload. Load potatoes, load grain, unload, unload. So you'll be a little balancing route there, and we'll go ahead and add the Desma Desdemona to. The aggression pact has ended. Oh, we're fine. Benti's fine with us. Move you to Cape Trelawney, Cape Trelawney. All right. And... You know what? What if Temple Park actually supplied Glenside instead of it being part of that huge route? You know, I think I like that better. So let's get rid of Glenside. And you know what? We can get rid of Puerto Trist as well. So three ships between those islands. Yeah, that's actually not bad. And you know what? We could probably go ahead and get rid of the Red Tide. I think two ships, two uh, screeners will probably do that on their own. So let's see, that covers those, that covers those. So yeah, we'll go Temple Park to Glenside and over to Porto Trist. So trade route, Temple Park, Glenside, Porto Trist. And you are gonna load potatoes, grain, unload, unload, potatoes, grain, the people potatoes, celebrate your leadership. Grain, and we'll unload those. And let's go ahead and add the red tide. The people celebrate your leadership. And you can go over into that group as well. All right, so all of the islands should be supplied with potatoes and grain. That's the, those are the two staples that every island needs. Now, the only thing we need to do is we're going to go through. Let's make sure that every single island has a minimum stock set. So long as we do that, the roots should work perfectly. We're just going to start out with 50 tons on every single island. And the nice thing is those schooners will just kind of slow boat their way around and provide everything to all the islands. And we shouldn't have any major issues. And that'll work. Uh, do I have a stock set here? I do have a stock set there. This is the problem with expanding too much. It gives you so much that you have to handle all at once. But at least we are handling it. Okay, perfect. Um, now, the one thing I do want to do... You're moving all your potatoes there. So, we do need to have trade routes from here to here. Um, Framlickborn is moving all of its potatoes and grain to Panapakenya. Any excess, I would like to move... Well, actually... Hang on. You know, if I'm going to have these capital islands, maybe they could get rid of their own excess. If Crown Falls has excess materials, they could be traded off. That's a thought. Maybe we use the... Um, the Docklands on each capital to trade off any excess goods. That doesn't sound like an awful idea. Then you don't have like 100 Docklands all over the place. You just have them on the main islands and it's far fewer things to focus on. Uh, did I have one in this back corner? I did. Okay. How do I want to handle construction goods? 
Let's think about that for a moment. Um... Let's take a look here. How many islands actually have clay on them? All of the capital islands, of course. East Monument has quite a bit. You know, maybe we take East Monument and turn it into... Well, it's... I don't know. Is it big enough to be nothing but workers? Hmm. That would be a lot of workers. Okay, how about how about this for a concept? We do very similar routes to what we've done with our potatoes and grain. However, the capitals can start moving, like we can start shifting goods from Granola over to Temple Park or to Penapacanya, and from those over to Crown Falls. And Crown Falls supplies its own areas with construction goods. That could be a useful way of doing it. George Smith, what are you doing with a monitor? George Smith is being very active here, and I don't like it. Is he active in the New World as well? Yeah, a little bit. I It's kind of hanging around. And I don't like it at all. Okay. I'm getting to that point where I just need to start doing... Oh, hey, look! Are we actually... We've unlocked everything. Yes. Okay. Uh, we need more fur coats, apparently. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and add another fur coat factory. Upgrade that warehouse. Um, really, we don't have enough coffee. Are you kidding? Didn't we have, like, a hundred and some coffee from the New World coming up here? Crown Falls should only need, like... Oh! We actually have a demand of three tons now. Oh, that's right. When I first started, we only had a demand of, like, less than one. We only had, like, this block done. Okay, so, yeah, we need more coffee. Oh, darn. I need to give my people more hungry. coffee. Whatever will I do? Queens usually like things done quickly. Let's... Oh, this is for the gold and the pearls. Um, but we're getting our spectacles, so that's a thing. Light bulbs. Let's work on light bulbs. We can drop a light bulb factory somewhere. Let's just put it up here. Generic location for now. We've taken to wearing. And we will need filaments. How are we looking on coal? We have excess coal. That's good. And what else? They're going to get coal. That'll make the filaments. Um, what's the ratio? It's one to one. Okay, great. So over time, this will start supplying light bulbs to the people that have absolutely no power yet. So that's great. Uh, we do need to go ahead and get them a power plant. So let's take a quick peek at what that requires. Now, if we drop a power plant... Hmm... Let's just, for the sake of argument, move a church over here. 
Now that power plant celebrate your leadership. doesn't quite stretch far enough, does it? No, sir, it does not. Let's drop that right there. And that means that it's actually time to get our oil harbor started. What do you mean free coast needed? Oh, that's actually in the way. And is that our oil harbor right there? There we go. Let's delete those two extra little road slots right there. So, how much steel do we have? We got enough. How do I want to run my rail in the middle here? I think I'll run them closer to the mid, the midpoint there. But I will need to go there to start. And I'm going to run a single rail on the left-hand side. Now, I need to start looking at tapping into the oil wells here. Oh, but I don't have workers. Yep, yeah, I can get a few more. Uh... do that right there. Now, for the sake of argument, we're just going to run rail like so. And we are totally out of steel, because that bridge is going to cost me 40 steel to run. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. Eventually, we're going to have a double track running all the way through all these areas but for the time being we'll have to wait let's run this as far as we can uh, that's every piece of steel we have damn we're gonna start running into some shortages of materials it's always steel that ends up crying. slowing me down. Let's drop Nadasky's journal back off. We could run around with the salvager for a little bit and try and grab some gear. Room to maneuver. I think that there's actually a wreck right here. I don't know if I can reach it since I've built up my harbor. I might have to delete some of that. Have we unlocked the palace yet? Museum, Botanical Garden, Zoo. I don't think I have. It's either under city? Alright, where... Oh. Oh, it must be over here. I get some special scrap. Hey, there we go. Now turn that off, move it there, turn it back on. What do we get? Come on, give me something good. Ah. It's okay, we can still use scrap. You know, speaking of, I'm curious, what are the basic weapons that we could give our ships? Oh, basic weapons and niter. All of these look like they need steam engines, but that's okay. And steel. You know, that's actually not a bad thing. 
indiscriminators are actually pretty good items. Considering all they take is basic scrap, that's not a bad thing to buy a bunch of. Especially if we had slightly stronger ships. Now, temporarily... Hmm... If I ran Rick Road out there... Could I actually reach a steam shipyard if I had to get this started? Ah, oh, one tile short. This city is a magnet for genius. All right, so what I might have to do temporarily put that there because once we get our power started, we also need to get a steam shipyard going so that we can start getting oil from the new world to here. So temporarily, we'll have to have that there. Mm. Because we need to be able to build our steamships. So, we're just going to have to build up a bunch of steel on this island. What's our... We can hold 600. Can I import some steel? I could import... No, I don't want to export. I want to import steel beams. No, I can't import steel beams. Actually, I can't even import steel. The people celebrate your leadership. Damn. Yeah, I haven't done any work with this yet. Okay, hold that hold off on that thought for now. I could trade potatoes for something. I've got excess potatoes galore. Schnapps could be sold to pirates. It's pretty valuable. Work clothes I don't really need to keep. You know, work clothes would actually be a really good thing to level up, and so would fish. Let's just say we wanted to level up fish, and let's go ahead and add, like, a few more... Let's add a few of these export offices. Oh, they require steel, too, don't they? Damn. Okay, how about this instead? Let's go back to the old world. I have an idea. We're gonna go to Kafia. I'm gonna take a quick peek at our dock lands. We're gonna add another export office. So, it's got all the export offices. Um, I don't need to be doing this right here. This is not very practical. I, I don't need that. Let's get rid of that. We're going to get rid of our excess fish. We're going to get rid of excess potatoes that aren't being turned into schnapps. Get rid of excess work clothes. And we can get rid of excess sausage, because you're always going to end up with a little bit of excess of all these goods. Now what we're going to bring in... I think with those first three goods... Let's see, where is soap? Soap, 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 soap. We could bring... Wait, really? Where's the soap? Oh, there it is, Chantus. First three goods are going to have a fairly favorable rate for soap. Now, sausages and other worker goods, I think I could bring in some fur coats. Now, why am I picking soap and fur coats? Well, oh, do I want to trade potatoes here? I don't think I do. Are we able to trade with Anne yet? Um, I don't remember if we have... Oops. Trade rates with Anne. We do. We do, we do, we do, we do. All right. Anne Harlow. I like people with a coarse air. Oh my gosh. I like people with a coarse air. A coarse air. Ah. Uh, 